Judge Juluya uh, Sekutende from Uganda has rejected all uh, the decisions or uh, what have been passed by the ICJ against Israel, which are the provisional measure, measures. Hello, I am Mahale Tayela, your host at Connect Africa, bringing you the latest from the continent. Now, everybody is talking about that how the ICJ has, you know, has passed these rulings in favor of South Africa's case against Israel uh, of the claim of genocidal intent uh, against Israel. Uh, now, this is not uh, the decision made, you know, based on the allegations uh, of genocide, which is uh, appealed by South Africa, but this is a provisional measure that has been uh, passed by the ICJ against Israel. Now, everybody has been who has supported South Africa have been celebrating this. But in the midst of all this, we have one uh, judge who has rejected all uh, this. Now, let's talk about her. Who is she? What's her background? Is it her first time to be controversial? Uh, and what did the Ugandan government say about this? Uh, we all going to spill, uh, you know, uh, the answers for uh, for this. Just tune in. So, Judge uh, Julu, uh, Julia Sebutende uh, from Uganda. Uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dive in and you know uh, tell you uh, some things about her background. So, the ICJ Judge uh, Sebutende. Uh, voted against emergency measures requested by South Africa against Israel over its war uh, in uh, Gaza. Now, this is uh, her. Uh, she has been appointed there in 2021. Uh, now, the United Nations top court ordered Israel on Friday to do all it can to prevent days destruction and acts of genocide in its military offensive in Gaza, but... Uh, uh, you know, stopped short of ordering a ceasefire. Now this is all about the news that has been came, coming out regarding uh, the <clears throat> regarding what has been passed as a provisional measure, measures by the ICJ. Now, in the midst of this, as I said, uh, Judge uh, Julia uh, Sebutende is my focus uh, for today because she is the only judge who voted against all of them. Now. This is, uh, you know, from uh, what uh, the news that has been shared from Al Jazeera. This is what we know about uh, her. Now, she is the first woman to sit on uh, the ICJ. Uh, born, she's born in February in 1954. So, Sebutende is a Ugandan judge serving her second term at the ICJ. Now, she has been a judge at the court since March 2021. Now, she's the first African woman. Uh, to sit on the international court, but not really at in the international criminal criminal court in the ICC, in the ICJ. Uh, they are talking about because in the ICC we have the Gambian judge. I forgot uh, uh, her name uh, and others in different international uh, organizations. Now, according to uh, you know, uh, let me just. Uh, those is now according to you know the institute uh, institute of uh, the uh, the African woman in law Sebutende comes from a modest family and she was born during a period when Uganda was actively fighting for independence from the British uh, colonial uh, office or whatever you know powers who were there in Uganda. Now she attended like uh, uh, her school in Uganda and then uh, also her high school. Uh, then she got her first uh, degree in 1977 at the age of uh, 2023. Now later on in, in her education in 1919 uh, she went to Scotland uh, where she earned a Master of Law degrees with distinction from the University of uh, Edinburgh and in 2009 uh, same university have, has honored her with a Doctorate, uh, doctorate of Laws, recognizing her contributions to legal and judicial uh, service. Uh, now, 
before being elected to the ICJ, Sabutende was a judge of the special court for uh, Sierra Leone. She was appointed to that position in 2007. And that's where her, you know, uh, her being a controversial person in her own way. I'm not saying that it's a positive or ne negative, but, uh, you know, in terms of speaking of contra being a controversial person or uh, judge that's where it started i'm gonna back i'm gonna come back to that but first let's talk about you know her reason in the icj in the case of israel palestine now so one uh, what she did her reasons uh, is that this is what she said in a dissenting opinion, Sebutende stated uh, the following. Now, it's in quotation. In my respectful dissenting opinion to the dispute between the state of Israel and the people of Palestine is essentially and historically a political one. Now, uh, she continues and she said, it's not a legal dispute uh, susceptible to judicial settlement by the court. Uh, again, that's what uh, she added. So now she also said that South Africa did not demonstrate that the acts allegedly committed by Israel were, in quotation, committed with the necessary genocidal intent and that a result they are capable of falling within the scope of genocide convention now other experts on the other side argued that Sebutende failed to conduct a thorough assessment of the situation and here here is what that expert said so it's in quotation i think what the dissenting opinions get wrong meaning that dissenting opinion from judge Job Sebutende so I think what the dissenting opinion gets wrong is that genocide is not a political dispute. It's a legal matter. Both South Africa and Israel signed the Genocide Convention in 1948 and accept the, ju uh, the jurisdiction over uh, breach of the Genocide Convention and failure to prevent genocide. So this is the expert uh, by the name Mark Kirsten, who said this is assistant professor uh, at the University of uh, Fraser Valley, uh, focusing on human rights uh, law. Now, he also added, you cannot simply say this is something uh, for history, this is something for pol politics. Uh, of course, history and politics uh, play a role. Uh, now, uh, the interesting thing is that uh, also the what if you ask me what the Ugandan government has said, it kind of the Uganda disowned Judge Julia Sebutende because. Uh, uh, the ambassador of Uganda to the United Nations expressed uh, his opinion or uh, expressed not, I wouldn't say he's because he's an ambassador, the government opinion, which is a different one. Now it's in quotation. This is what his tweet says. Justice Sobutende ruling at the International Court of Justice does not represent the government of Uganda's position on the situation in Palestine. Uh, that's what he said in his statement uh, on uh, Twitter, uh, I mean, on X or formerly uh, known as as uh, Twitter. Now, this is really interesting because we always, you know, the thing is that whenever something is ruled out against Africa, you know, the United Nations likes to use black faces, uh, throw those black judges or black, I don't know, uh, committees so that uh, to say that, oh, we are, uh, we, we are not part of this. I don't know, you know, let me know in the comment section, what do you think of this? Does it make, you know, uh, those of you who have a legal background or who are lawyers somehow who studied law, uh, what she what she says, does it make sense? She said it's it, it, it's politics. And then all the, uh, the evidence is um, South Africa lacks to demonstrate evidences, you know, that uh, that ultimately uh, that 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 is uh, failing uh, to conclude that it's a genocidal intent. So let us know in the comment section what do you think of this? You know, without really siding uh, with Palestine, Israel, or whatever, we're African. So she's an African judge, and let's just reason out based on her reasons. Okay, that's what I'm just asking. Uh, 
and uh, yeah just share your view your comments in the comment section thanks again for tuning in um yeah go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like what we bring you here give it thumbs up and please uh, go ahead and share the video it will help our youtube algorithm as we empower each other with information and uh, knowledge if you want to help us further please go ahead and donate to our paypal account any amount is welcome it will help us it will help us to be here um, often uh, thanks again and i'll see you on the next one it's a bye-bye for me for now